My name is Peter Schlür. I'm the president of uh, WorldVis, which is a virtual reality uh, company. So we provide uh, immersive, interactive virtual reality solutions. And uh, we have found uh, last year that in the safety uh, training market, this can be a very interesting technology. So what you have to imagine is you're taking on a head-mounted display and you see uh, any kind of world, uh, 3D environment, in uh, real time. You can walk around in it, you can look around, and you can interact with objects. So we have created uh, several applications last year. Um, one example is uh, a, a room where students had to go in to check the room for OSHA compliance and they had to find uh, 10 different objects that were not safe. This is only one example of uh, any kind of world and training scenario you can imagine. We have, for example, found here great interest uh, for people who want to do vehicle training, uh, where people are exposed to heights, which is very, very compelling when you wear a head-mounted display, um, how you're exposed to the height, how you get a very intense memory of your uh, uh, training that you do, and uh, you are more safe when you actually are exposed to the real risk. So we're very excited about uh, being here at this conference for the first time. We have excellent response and uh, I'm sure we're going to uh, create uh, uh, many uh, uh, safety training applications uh, this year. Um, our company started out six years ago. We operate in uh, many different markets, not only the safety training market. We do all kinds of training applications for industry, ergonomic studies for the automotive industry, uh, training for the military also. And uh, last year only, we started working in the uh, safety training market, which has been uh, very, very interesting. So this here is a head-mounted display that allows you to see the virtual environment in full 3D stereo. And one important uh, factor also for virtual reality is that you are fully tracked, all your movements are fully tracked. So uh, this is an LED that is being picked up by the four cameras and these cameras are triangulating the location of this point. So when you walk around, the computer always knows where you are. And we also have an orientation center, that, an orientation sensor that uh, tracks the yaw, pitch and roll. So this allows you to freely walk around and interact with the virtual environment as if you were just naturally interacting with the real world. Um, there are other options than using a head-mounted display. This is a high-end head-mounted display. This is a lower-end head-mounted display that allows you to have peripheral vision. But you could uh, as well use a large 3D theater or uh, a 3D screen, uh, a 3D projector. So there are all kinds of different options to visualize a virtual environment and make it real-time interactive depending on your needs and applications. For example, if you have large groups that need to participate in a training, you would rather want to have a large projection where people can see each other and can see the virtual environment. Uh, the systems vary uh, greatly. You can have a very small mobile virtual reality training system that runs off a laptop with a low-cost HMD. HMD stands for Head Mounted Display that uh, is under $10,000 and you can have large area uh, systems where you can walk around in huge spaces, have high resolution head mounted displays, multiple participants and uh, very complex 3D worlds where you can do after action reviews with the participants and these uh, can go up to several hundred thousand dollars.